Video, Caravan Migrants Tell MSNBC, We Want to Go Home It was repeatedly claimed that the Central American migrants that are currently camped in Tijuana, Mexico were fleeing their home countries because of violence and poverty. Now, members of the caravan told MSNBC that they want to return to their homelands. The migrants said that they were told they would be admitted quickly to the United States and that most of them would be eligible for available work programs that would make their lives in America easier. The MSNBC reporter on the scene, after speaking to the migrants, said that they were told crossing the U.S. border would be much easier. However, many of the potential asylum seekers have come to realize that crossing the U.S. border is no mean feat, especially after the rock-throwing incident that occurred during the weekend. Even though Mexico allowed the migrant caravan to enter the country, knowing that their final goal was to reach the U.S., Tijuana officials and residents aren't pleased with the entire situation. The Mexico government is setting up tents in migrant camps along the border just to help those who want to return safely to Honduras and Guatemala. In addition, they are also offering the migrants temporary work visas in Mexico in case they feel that cannot go back. The total number of migrants in Tijuana alone break down this way, 6,062 total, comprising of 3,877 men, 1,127 women and 1,058 children, according to Fox News. Tijuana residents want to see the situation resolved as quickly as possible. The migrants have two options, approaching the border peacefully or accepting one of Mexico's offers. According to authorities, Tijuana spends $35,000 daily on the migrant caravan and if the migrants don't make up their minds soon, the city will be forced to raise taxes. Thus far, around 198 migrants have self-deported and it